all right, you finally got all your experience and you're gearing up to take your test. Did you know your tests are changing? If you're watching this before July 31st, 2023, and you're planning to take your test soon, then you'll still be using the practical test standard or PTS. If you're here after July 31st, 2023, or planning to test after that date, then listen up because this is all really important information about what is changing in the tests and how it's gonna be different from the way it is now. All the testing standards for both the new ACS and the current PTS are available for download from the FAA's website. I'll link those in the description below for you to check out after the video. Now, one thing you really need to understand is the difference between the PTS and the ACS, which is what this video is gonna be about. The PTS focuses on proficiency of the listed categories. It puts a very high emphasis on a very broad knowledge set and is incredibly daunting for a new applicant. There's a lot of information to try to retain. The new ACS's focus is on satisfactory understanding of the subject areas. You need to not only demonstrate a knowledge of the subject areas, but also a knowledge of risk management and maintenance and the practical skills that are required in those subject areas. The number of subjects in the ACS has been reduced. The PTS had five main subjects covering between three and 13 subsections. Now the ACS has three subjects with 12 to 15 subsections. Under the current PTS, the scores on your written exams have no bearing on the number of questions you will be asked in your oral or practical exams. The current PTS will have a minimum of 172, but a maximum of 301 questions. It's a lot of information to try to keep crammed in your brain. Your examiner will be required to ask four questions per subject area, but can ask up to seven questions per subject area, depending on how many you answer incorrectly. Remember to never say, I don't know, or I can't recall that will count as a failure on that question. Examiners will allow you to skip a question because if you can answer at least a minimum of four, the rest of the questions don't matter. So that gives you time to come back to questions that you may not have remembered the answer to if you still need to meet that minimum of four correct questions. You must answer 70% of each subject area correctly in order to pass that subject. This means three out of four or five out of seven questions must be answered correctly under the PTS. If you fail at any point on the oral exam, the exam will stop and you'll have to retest all the subjects again, regardless of how many sections of that subject were passed. Under the ACS, your written exam scores do count towards your oral exam. The higher your written exam scores, the fewer questions you'll be asked on your oral exam. A 100% score on the written exams will reduce the number of questions you'll be asked in your oral exam to as few as 12 questions. 12! If you manage to miss just one question in every learner code, if it still earn a 70% on your written exam, you'll have a maximum of 90 oral questions, 22 general questions, 34 airframe questions, and 34 power plant questions. And the oral test under the new ACS will have one question for each missed topic on the written test, plus four randomly selected questions from each section of the Airman Certification Standard or ACS. The ACS changes the retest rules to be similar to the practical exam in that you only retest the failed sections rather than the whole test if you fail the oral portion. Now the 70% standard passing for the PTS applies to the entire oral exam on the ACS rather than just individual subjects. The oral isn't the only exam changing under the ACS either. The practical tests are changing too. Under the current PTS, there are five possible practical tests and a maximum number of 22 projects you can end up getting. Six of those projects are from the general section, seven are from the airframe section, and power plant has nine. If you fail any one project in that area, the test stops and you must retest the failed subject plus the maximum number of additional randomly selected subjects from that failed section. The new ACS changes this in a huge way. There's only three total subjects instead of five like the PTS. Within these, there are a maximum of 30 projects, nine from the subject areas within the general, 11 from the subject areas within the airframe, and 10 from the subject areas within the power plant. On the general test, you will be stopped once you fail three of the nine projects. Both airframe and power plant tests will be stopped when you failed four projects. If you fail, you'll be retested on the failed project plus an additional project in the same subject area along with any subject areas not tested on the previous test. So for example, if you failed your power plant, but you passed your general test, you'd have to have the power plant failed test plus all the other power plant tests and the airframe practical tests on your retest. Personally, I really like the new ACS. I think that it will make it a lot easier to study for and a lot less stressful for the new applicants. The more you understand and study the written content, the shorter your oral and practical exams will be. All of the source books for all the rules and regulations are available on the FAA's website for free. I also have them available for download from my own page for free. Uh, if you're the type of person who really likes to have a physical copy, I'm currently trying to work with a local publisher to create a tabbed combination book containing 
in all the books, similar to the way that pilots do their ground school books, so that you can have a copy of everything the FAA draws their information from and tab it out per subject area. Once those are done, I'll put an announcement up on the community tab and link it in the description of this video and all other future videos. I suggest that if you're preparing for your test, you give the new ACS or current PTS a look, depending on when you're seeing this video. Scan through all the subject areas and give yourself an honest assessment. How confident are you in each subject? Can you find that subject in the study material? Do you have a vague understanding of the topic? Are you clueless about the topic? Maybe you're an expert at that specific topic. Identify your weak areas and focus on the subject matter. Don't worry about memorizing questions and answers. Instead, focus on understanding the concepts. Knowing the concepts means that no matter how the FAA words a written question, you'll be able to pick out the right answers. You'll also be able to retain the information better for your oral and practical exams because you're studying the entire concept, not just the question answer. Now, if you learned something today and you want to continue learning alongside us, go ahead and click the video to my left. Thanks for coming. See you later.